How you feeling? No, how you really feeling? Let's talk about it today on Life Starring Dare. <music> So welcome back everyone for another episode of Live Starring Deb. It is so good to see you today. So the last time we met, I talked about New Year, Better You. And I decided to make that a sort of a mini series because what does that actually mean to be better? You know, like I said before, we don't have to be new. We don't have to be brand new, new year, new me. We don't We don't have to be that. But what we can be and what we should strive to be is better. And so I want to talk about that for a couple of episodes after today about what that really means to be better. And one of the things that I absolutely have to talk about is our health. Now, this episode is a little late because I got sick and you can kind of hear it, you know, in my voice. I had um, what I thought was a cold and I, you know, did like most people. I went to the pharmacy and picked up some over-the-counter medications for cough and sneezing and congestion, you know, the, the normal stuff. And I wasn't getting any better. Now, full, disclo full disclosure, I don't necessarily like going to the doctor. I don't, I, I, I don't like sitting in the waiting room with a lot of other sick people. Um, it seems like it takes a while to get a, an appointment. And I just feel like I can self-diagnose and say, you know, this is what I have, or this is what I have, or I Googled the symptoms and this is what they say. And that is just really not good business, especially for those of us that are getting older. How are we going to self-diagnose? There's so much going on. There's so much going, so many things going around. There's no way that I can say, this is what I have. So anyway. I waited until I couldn't wait anymore because I felt like I was getting progressively worse instead of better. So I had to make an appointment. And it came to find out I had an upper respiratory infection that needed antibiotic, not that over-the-counter stuff. I needed something strong. So I was on five-day uh, medication and yesterday was day five, and I still feel it a little in my chest, which the doctor said I probably would, um, but it was serious, and it could have turned into pneumonia and some other things that, you know, a woman my age should not be dealing with. So what I'm going to tell you is just the way it is. Like, you know, when we need a haircut, Right? We look at our hair and we say, oh, it's time for a cut. When we need our nails done, we look at our nails and we say, oh, you know, it's time to get up my nails done or my feet done. Um, and even with our cars, if the check engine light comes on, it tells us that we need to service our car. Um, some of us drive cars that the car will tell us when the tires are low, when we need an oil change, when we need maintenance. It's a reminder. It pops up on your screen. It'll pop up on your phone and let you know that it's time to service your car. And we jump at it. Some of us are like, oh, oil change. Oh, time for an oil change. Oh. But what about our bodies? What about us? Sometimes our bodies will give us signals and let us know that there is something going on that we need to check. And for the most part, a lot of us will ignore the signs. Like if you get up and you feel a little dizzy in the morning, like, oh, what was that? You know, that's something going on. 
inside of you the things that we can't see. See, we can dress it up and make it look any kind of way. And make it look good, make it look shiny, make it look sparkle, make it look good. But what's really going on on the inside? When was the last time you had a blood test? A blood test will tell a lot of what is going on. When was the last time you had your eyes examined? Or are you still wearing those same prescription glasses that you got maybe five years ago and you haven't been back to get your eyes checked to see if you need an adjustment to your eye prescription? See, some of us will just get used to it. We're just used to, to, to looking out of these lenses. But we'll notice that, oh, I don't really like driving at night anymore because, you know, the lights are coming at me and it looks a little blurry and, you know, it's just too many cars. So it may be too many cars, but also might be your eyes getting weaker and it's telling you that you need to change your prescription so that you can see in the daytime and so that you can see at night. And what about your blood pressure? Okay, so high blood pressure, hypertension, silent killer, just knock you out right there. You won't even know what happened. It leads to stroke, heart attack, and all these other things. But how do you know if, that you have high blood pressure if you don't go and get your blood pressure checked? Because high blood pressure can also lead to other things, heart, stroke, heart attack. All of these things can kill you, like kill you like right now if your blood pressure is too high or if your blood pressure is too low. That will also give off signs. And sometimes we see it. We start sweating. We start feeling some kind of way. And we just kind of sit down. Oh, it's time for me to take a break. We're breathing hard. Oh, it's time for me to sit down. No, it's time for you to go and get a checkup. Period. See what's going on inside of your body. Because if you don't, if you don't, it can lead to other things that make it worse, that make your bodies worse, that causes your bodies to function down so that you're not functioning at your full capacity because there's something going on, right? We talk all the time, everywhere you look, you see diet, medication, lose weight this way, lose weight that way, exercise, and we see them and we ignore them. But in actuality, we have to exercise. We have to find something to do. Now, I am not a gym person. I don't like going to the gym. I don't like working out that way. But what I do like to do is dance. So I put on music and I just dance around the house, maybe two or three songs, maybe 15 minutes. I'm just kicking my legs, moving my arms, moving my head. That's exercise, right? You can do it sitting down. You can sit down and I can kick my legs 20 times on one leg, 20, side, 20 times on the other leg while I'm watching TV. I can get up. I can twist. I can twist. I can twist my waist. You know, I'm exercising like right now because if you don't move it, you lose it. And arthritis and all these other things because as we begin to age, our bones get weaker. And that's why it's easy for us to fall and break something. So you got to keep them moving. You got to keep those joints moving so that they don't stiffen up. That is part of taking care of yourself. Find something that you enjoy that will help you exercise. I changed my parking spot at work because at first I was parking closer to my office so that I didn't have that far to walk. But in actuality, I need the steps. I need to walk. So I park further so that I can now walk a little bit more to get to the office. And I'm trying to remember to get up from my desk and just to take a walk, take a walk around the school, go upstairs to the classroom, look around, whatever, come back down. You know, luckily on my smartwatch, it'll tell me time to stand up, time to walk, 
Time to drink water. Why do we need to be reminded to do those things? Because we do. Because if we're not reminded, we won't do it. So all I'm telling you to do is in our quest to be better, do not neglect your health. Don't neglect your health. The older that we get, more things are going to happen to our bodies just because we're getting older. So let's don't add to it by neglecting the things that we can change. Those subtle little changes that we can change can make a big difference. Pay attention to what you eat. Pay attention to what you eat. What are you putting in your body? And more importantly than that, watch your portions. I saw a post that said, you know, um, it, it said something about we don't eat for the joy of eating. We eat for nourishment. But you know, we like what we like. Good food is good food. And sometimes we just overindulge and we don't know when to stop. And we just pile it on. And sometimes we pile it on and they bring it and you say, oh, I could can, can never eat all that. That's too much food. And you look up and it's all gone because we've eaten too much. And then we feel bloated. And then we can get constipated. And then that hurts. Nah, 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 nah. Watch what you put in and watch how much of it you're putting in. And remember, what goes in must come out. So you want to make notice. Make note how often are you moving your bowels. You have to move your bowels. But, you know, sometimes we go two or three days. Oh, my goodness. I, no, 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 no. Every day. Every day. Friends, sis, friends, sis, bruh, those of you that are watching, my men and my women that are aging, pay attention. Your body will tell you. Your body will tell you when something is going on. Don't neglect it. Don't neglect what your body, the signals that your body is telling you that it is time to get checked. It is time to take time to take care of you so that you are better. And I'm going to tell you this before I let you go. Remember I told you I didn't like going to the doctor? Well, I didn't. And I don't. But I called and I said, I need an appointment. I need to see a doctor because I'm sick. I've been sick over a period of time. And there were no there were no appointments. Oh, we have one at the end of the month. Oh, we have all oh, you can, you know, you can go to urgent care, this, that, and the other. And I was like, no, well, what about a what about a phone appointment? Can I just talk to a doctor over the phone and tell him what I'm feeling or whatever? So she booked me for an appointment and then she called back and said, okay, that appointment had to be canceled because the doctor wasn't going to be in. And then she said, you can always go to Target. And I said, I don't want to go to Target. I want to see a doctor. And she said, no, ma'am. Kaiser has clinics inside of most Targets. Where do you live? And I gave her my zip code and she goes, oh. There's a Kaiser Clinic at the Target by your house. What? Look, I go to that Target all the time. I have never seen a clinic, a doctor's office, a, a, a Kaiser Clinic in Target. And I know that I know every role in Target. But she told me, and I said, is it on the inside of Target or is it on the outside of Target? She said, it's on the inside, ma'am, in the store. For real. Kaiser clinic on the inside of Target, the store that I shop most at? Yes, ma'am. Would you like me to book you an appointment? Yeah, yeah, book me an appointment. Yeah, book me an appointment so that I can prove you wrong. So she booked the appointment and I walked in. First of all, when I got the parking spot, I saw clinic on the outside of the building. Never seen it before. Never paid attention. They almost felt like they just put it up there that morning because they knew I was coming. <laughs> so I go in and I find the, the target worker in the, in the red polo and the khaki pants. And I say, excuse me, 
do you have a Kaiser clinic inside of this building? And she said, yes, ma'am. Just go right down that, that aisle right by the pharmacy. Look to your left and there's a clinic. Well, what kind of clinic is it? Was what I was thinking, right? <laughs> so I walk up. Look like Kaiser. It looked like Kaiser. There was no one waiting. I was able to walk in. I got my blood pressure checked. I was able to speak with a physician. They gave me a prescription for my upper respiratory infection. And I was like, what? And then I left there feeling happy, grabbed a cart and started shopping at Target. Like one stop shop, get the stuff that I need, get my medication, see a doctor right at Target in my neighborhood. Who knew? I would have never known. I, I don't even think that I, I would have never paid attention because as much as I shopped there and I even asked the girl, like, how long have you guys been here? She's like, for forever. Wow. So they make it convenient. There are so many ways that you can reach out to a physician. Stop evaluating yourself. Stop self-diagnosing. You don't know what is going on with you. And you want to be around. You want to be around and you want to be around healthy. Your best better self. We want to be better. This is the year for better. So don't neglect your health. Pay attention to what you eat. Drink water. Stop eating so many sweets and sugar and stuff that add on pounds and bring on diabetes and all these other stuff. Small changes can make a big difference in the way that we live. So that is today's episode. Again, thank you for coming. Thank you for talking about Life Starring Deb. Thank you for subscribing. If you are a subscriber and if you're not, before you scroll, hit that subscribe button and come back because we are a community of men and women that are trying to live out our best life, being healthy, being happy, having joy, meeting people, and talking about issues that pertain to us, the aging, mature man and woman. So thank you for coming. Can't wait to see you next week as we keep exploring how to be better in 2024. Take care and have a great day.